I don't think I'm gonna get an answer out of you from how much the bill was, but can you text me what it was when you get it? Mm -hmm. And I'll tell I'll tell these guys what you got stung. Oh, there's a lot wrong with it. Uh, how much is that? So I think one of the best things that you can do for yourself, something that I learned at a very young age working in the sporting industry was to try and do something for yourself before you do anything for anybody else in the sense of a business that you might be working for or a business that you're trying to start up and run yourself. Um, and for me that's always come down to exercise. I've always liked to go for a run because I'm heavily into my running. Uh, or, or I've gone to the gym and I've done that whether it be 5 in the morning before you start work at 8.30 in a 9 to 5. Uh, or whether it is nine o'clock on a Monday morning like it is today uh, and I'm going to quickly knock out a gym session before we get into the work day which is set up to be a really big long day of work. It always is on a Monday but I still think it's, it's that core principle of just doing something for yourself, putting yourself in the right frame of mind um, and I believe that that will allow you to have a better work day no matter what you're doing for work. So I'm only around the corner. Fortunately for me my gym is only two minutes from home and uh, there's really no excuse to, to get in there for 45 minutes and throw some weight around and the mental clarity that you pick up from doing that, uh, I've, always, I've always seen a massive difference uh, as opposed to you know, a day where I might slacken off and tell myself that I don't want to go. Um, I end up finding out later in the day that that was probably the worst decision I could have made. So Courtney's joining me for nine o'clock. She's joined the gym that I go to as well because it is so close to home. And, She's adopting that process of, of going to the gym or going for a walk before she starts her day. And I think, I think she could absolutely say the same thing, that it, it has a massive effect. So if you're not doing it, I definitely recommend that you do it. No matter what time you start, even if it's early in the morning, just try and get out 45 minutes beforehand and just do something for yourself. Let's go and smash legs. It was probably a 40 minute session in the end for legs. I've got my half marathon coming up this Sunday, so I was saying to Courtney that I didn't really want to push it too hard today for a strength session because you don't want to be sore leading in, it's a bit of a taper week. Um, so I'll only probably run maybe 5Ks on Wednesday, maybe Thursday, and then Sunday I'll see how quickly I can do this half marathon in. But like I was saying before, it's just a really good way to start your day, whether it's going for a walk, going into the gym, just doing something for yourself. Um, basically ready to attack the day now. And the first thing we do from a work sense is a little sales meeting. Yeah, that would be good if you could, you could bring me. Um, and can I ask also, I got a new battery on Thursday last week um, put in and they said to just mention, cause I said I was getting it serviced, um, something about my fan belt. Was my fan belt all good? Okay. Uh, how much is that? What'd they say about your car? Oh, there's a lot wrong with it. But Damn. currently it's only, well not only, it's about 400 at the moment, but then they, people will know what I'm talking about, but I don't know what I'm talking about right now. But if he changes the spark plugs, he needs to test something to do with my coils and then if it's a coil it could be all of the coils and it could be hundreds more and I've got an engine oil leak and a fan belt and I just got a new battery and guys my car is like a three thousand dollar Toyota so like at what point new car I just cannot but could, be, could be time for a new set of wheels Monday yeah it's not a nice thing on a Monday morning to have to deal with the mechanics no that's all right but uh Courtney's sister dropped Courtney off this morning Mm. And uh, I'll drop you back this afternoon to the mechanics. Come along with us. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the end. We'll see at the end of the video what the bill is. <laughs> guys. Hopefully, it's not too nasty. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm gonna give you the camera, Courtney. I want to show you guys something that I was able to pick up uh, over the weekend. Um, we had Selwyn come into town. He's from Grafton, so it's a good three, three and a half hour drive. But he was going up to Brisbane. And on the way through, he said that he found a lot of stuff from a garage sale or two that he went to over the last few weeks. And we ended up grabbing everything that he brought, which is all of this stuff down here. 
um, some awesome, awesome stuff that is worth quite a bit of money. And I wanted to show you guys because I didn't actually film it with someone in the room. Um, it was a cash purchase. We did one item on consignment and that item was a really good one in Pokemon Sapphire. Uh, so that game sells for about $150 on eBay. Um, so Selwyn said, let's do that one on consignment. And everything that we've done with Selwyn on consignment has basically been Pokemon. Mm. Uh, it's been selling fantastically well. Uh, but this is something that I want to go through with you guys because it's something I think we should be focusing a little bit more on, Courtney. Um, these are like VCR, DVD players, that combo players as well. Some of them can convert VHS to DVD. And those ones are worth quite a bit more money. I got this one off Selwyn. And it goes up for upwards of $280 on comps. Um, so we've listed this for $280. Bucks. It's an LG. Very easy to work out the value because there's always a code. So the brand is right there, LG. Um, but the code for this one is just down the bottom there, RC299. So yeah, if you type in literally LG RC299, eBay gives you some very good comps. This one has the cable and it's also got a really good condition working remote. Uh, as well. So I was blown away by that and I think I want to try and start to source a bit more of that. Yes, there's going to be a bit of a shipping cost component to it. It might cost about $20 to ship off, but we're trying to find 280 Well, we're trying to find high average sale price type items, as you guys know. Um, so that one there, obviously at 280 bucks, fits the mold. Have a look at this. We also were able to pick out, uh, get our hands on this as well. This is a Casio, Casio Tone, Japanese made piano. Hmm. It's the MT70, and there aren't a heap of comps on eBay for the MT70, but they were selling for around $300. So I said yes to this, and again, shipping might be about $20 to $25 to get this one done, but it's in really good condition. I'll show you, this is it here. That's it there, so that's in, in great nick. Uh, I had it plugged in as well on the, on the cords there, so all the cords, it is complete. All the cords are there, that plugs into the PowerPoint. And then you could even start to play a little tune, Courtney, because I've got some chord sheets for different songs, 500 miles. There's a little sheet there for that. And then it finally came with its uh, instruction manual. So all really good things that are gonna help the resale value of this item. And I plugged in and I, I hit a few keys yesterday. <laughs> I played, uh, played, a, played a tune or two. Yeah. And um, we're going to try and list that up for $300. So, again, a bit like this, not something we sell a lot of, but I think with our higher average sale price, that might be sort of stuff that we look at moving forward. Mm. More of the same, actually, here. He had a Blu-ray player here. This is the code for this one is the one that's circled. It's DMP BD45. And this one, again, has its cable and it's got its remote. Um, Panasonic DMP DB45. I don't know exactly what the comps were on that, but it was, it was decent. And then the other one was this old school video cassette recorder, VCR. So this old school VCR was turning on and working. Um, there's the code for it there, NVHD620. I think you can get about 150 for this. And it's got its manual and it's got its remote as well. So. I was really happy to see that. Selwyn actually found these at garage sales for $5. Um, he did unbelievably well. And uh, we bought them off him for 20 bucks each. So we have spent $60 for all of that, which so is good. not that bad. Um, this as well was a really cool item too. I want to show you guys this. Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm. But look at this. It's a collector's edition. Mm. So it's got all of the old movie stuff. Um, don't want to drop it, but yeah, it's got all of that, a little booklet, and then it's got all seven movies, mm. and it's a collector's edition. It was selling for about $100, mm -hmm. uh, and then there was a bunch of DVDs, and sorry, yeah, DVDs and video games, so these are the ones that I pulled out to be worth a little bit of money, um, so there's some good games for you to have a look at. The Skate series always does well, Minecraft. That was about $20 odd dollars. And then I've gone ahead and I've listed these games up for 60 bucks as a bundle. Um, so they're already live. So there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Um, and yeah, that's, that's been put up. Here's a really good show, Courtney. Hmm. When we're out in the thrift necks, Acropolis Now. This is uh, George K. 
Campionaris and Nick Giannopoulos. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Nick Giannopoulos back in the day. Um, this is $100 if you get all five seasons. We've got four seasons. Yeah, right. So we've got the good one, which is season five, but we're missing season one. Yeah. So I've actually priced that. I've listed that. I've priced it up for $80. Yeah. Which is a very, very good DVD set to find. Uh, and then this one as well was a really good DVD set too. So this was, I believe, complete. And it was the TV show Coast. And it was seasons one to seven. Um, so they're two good listings. I think we're listing this one up for $70. Yeah. So 70 on that, 80 for that. That was $150 in those two series. Um, and then, yeah, some Skylanders. This PlayStation doesn't work. Footy, a board game. This was a camera as well. It's not worth a lot of money. But that Pentax camera with a lens on it as well. They can do pretty well. I think that's only like a $60 item there. Yeah. It's got its manual and stuff and its cables, but it's not a... Not an expensive camera, but I like, I like to learn the cameras. Mm. So anyway, that all came in and I've listed up this so far. So that means from the camera down, yeah. we have to list up the rest today. Yeah. I think there's about $500 in value for all of that, Yeah. Um, which would be today's listings taken care of. Yeah. We've done 7,445. Our goal for April is 11,000, so we're tracking along. We're doing average 354 per day, so to hit the 11,000, we need 366. So I think you watched that out this morning. It was 250 off, which is possible to get on top of. So we're shipping off about basically $1,000 worth of stock today. Mm -hmm. um, we've had a total of, oh, geez, I'd have to have a double check. I think there's about 27 items to ship off today. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to take you through, I think about 10 listings that were basically worth having a conversation about for various things. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, there's, there's some good info for you guys to, to check out. So we'll, we'll start pulling some of these orders mm -hmm. and we'll start showing you guys some of the thousand bucks that's just been able to come through. First one is this bundle of four PS3 no, Naruto? Naruto. Naruto Shippuden <laughs> games. Um, for we bundled them up um, and got a $35 sale price. So they'll go into a small satchel for $8. Did we? I think we did have them listed individually at one point. And then when I did the little going through the shelf, I think I bundled them. Mm, smart move too. Yeah. We've done it for a couple of others. Um, we've done Call of Duty as a bundle. <laughs> we've done a lot of Assassin's Creed as a bundle. That's actually a group of six games that we're doing as one lot so it's not always not always random games that we do as bundles sometimes we do them per the game mm. um, and that's a perfect example there of a sale that's come through somebody obviously wanted the naruto collection i think mm. there are maybe a potentially a few more games on the ps3 for naruto yeah uh, but still 35 dollars. it's a better way to get them sold because these games are only worth about eight to ten dollars each can't do that no it's just not worth selling them off that way so one shipping cost 35 dollars sale price not something we're going to pick up in the thrift store, mm. but in bundles, in bulk deals, we can still get results out of it. All right, some books. Some books that uh, have a story behind them. Mm. See, see what I did there? No. Oh, yeah. These, a book. These books have a story. Oh, God, yep. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the story that we've got about these books is they, don't, they haven't sold for a great average sale price, mm. which is why I wanted to talk about it because it is a large part of what we're doing here is to try and kind of remove those low average sale price type items and build up our store into just better quality. Nice to see these leave. Um, we've got the Daring Book for Girls. I've actually sold that a few times before, but it only sold for about 17, 18 odd dollars. Um, the Subtle Art, that one there sold for about the same, about $18 odd dollars. It's a very quick moving book, mm. but as you'll soon find out, it doesn't make you a lot of profit. And then I think this one went for $20, Emily yep. Roder. Um, really, really good book series if you can find the smaller paperback versions or smaller hardcovered versions of um, Del Toro Quest, um, which we have sold for some really good money in the past, and those books I would still pick up. But any book like this that is selling between $17 to $20 odd dollars, just like these three books have, we're going to put them all into, I believe, a small satchel. I think even the daring book for girls will fit in a small satchel. Yeah. I reckon with some bubble wrap around that. 
It'll fit. That'll squeeze in, I feel. Um, these ones, these other ones are going to be fine for a small. But even at a small satchel, $8.50 off at worst $17 or say at best $20. Mm. Um, that brings it down to like an $11 to $12 average sale price. Mm -hmm. You take out fees, it's going to pull it down to about $8.00. And we're going to source these books for about $3 yeah. when we're in thrift stores. Yeah. So if you were to go in and find this book and, oh my God, it sells for 20 on eBay, it's only $3 in store, mm. it's going to make you like 4 to $5 in profit. Yeah. We're not in the game to make 4 or 5 profit per item. It yeah. would be a large, this room would be, we would need about 7 of these rooms um, of $5 profit items. So for that reason, they're not something that we're going to try and pick up again. I think for books, if it was a three dollar purchase, we'd want a minimum of about twenty five to thirty. Yeah. Um, we can make closer to ten dollars in profit. Still not great, but it's something at three dollars to make ten dollars in profit. You'd probably go ahead with. Um, so there's a lot more books in here um, that are like this. We just had three come through, and they're all around the same price point. So I thought that'd make for a pretty good story <laughs> in the Monday vlog. Right. This one was a very fast sell-through rate. We bought this, it would have been maybe in a vlog, like a week ago. Yeah, so I think very... I listed it last week. Mm. Charles Bronson, The Ultimate Collection. Single DVD, we would have got that for about $2 max and we've sold it for 25. So that's like, is that the minimum we want to sell now? Very or... much like the books. Yeah. You know, 25 to 30 now for single copies. Yeah. Um, you know, two dollar purchase price. You're probably making ten profit, maybe twelve profit. Mm -hmm. So you know, when you're only paying two dollars to make twelve dollars, that's not bad. Yeah. And we'll put that in a tracked envelope, medium, um, yep. for say six dollars eighty. Yep. So on a quick number calculation, say seven dollars off twenty five is eighteen. Mm -hmm. The fees are fifteen percent, so that's about four. That brings us down to fourteen, and then two dollar purchase price. It's twelve bucks profit. Yep. So that's not bad. It's not bad. And a really good sell-through rate to get that yeah. 12 bucks as well. Sell-through rate, for sure. Yeah. All right, let's actually do a really good one. A really, a really nice, healthy sale. Mm. Don't know if you guys know this if you're into your video games, but add this to your Bolo list. Um, for anyone that doesn't know what Bolo is, it's a be on the lookout. Um, we've got Persona 4 uh, on the PlayStation 2. This one is a very, very good game, highly sought after. It's in great condition as well. Um, it's got its little extra bits, it's got its manual, the game disc itself is in amazing condition, not a lot wrong with that disc. Um, we were able to list this one up pretty confidently, I actually went ahead and listed it for $120. We had a best offer come through yesterday afternoon for $90 and I actually counted for $100 and it sold for 100 bucks. So a fantastic sale price on a video game that Courtney said we should definitely go ahead and put into a box mm. um, just to be safe because it is $100. Yeah. Um, we want to make sure it gets there no matter what in its best condition. Yeah. Um, but yeah, $100 sale price is fantastic. We don't get a ton of them, but when they do come through, it's obviously awesome to see. Um, Persona 4, I hadn't actually heard of it. No. Hadn't played it myself. No. Um, came through in a bulk buy, I believe, off Selwyn. Mm -hmm. So that's a really, really good sale in the video game category. This one is a bit random. Pokemon Moon 3DS game. But the thing with this one is it's literally just the steel bookcase. There's no manual or there's no game, um, which we clarified in the description and in the title as well. Cases still sell, especially Pokemon, like always sell internationally as well it went to the US so it sold for $24 just for the case and then $20 in postage costs which would do you reckon it'll be about 20 yeah. Less? yeah yeah it'd be yeah it'd be 15 to 20 yeah pretty much the asking postage price yeah no game or anything straight to the US just the case all right mm -hmm. just gonna make sure I've got the codes right we've got so many PlayStation 2 consoles this is so on the back here You'll see that. And I think that's a really good idea when you list up your game or your consoles to just put that code in the title um, because I've realized that so many there's so many different codes for what ultimately looks like the same console. And they all do different things that I don't know, but as long as I write the code in the title, I know that I'm safe. Um, so this PlayStation 2 that I've got here in my hands has been the one that's gone on to sell most recently. It does have a very good working controller with it. It's got two 8 megabyte, oh, this is a 16 megabyte uh, memory card as well, and it's got all of its cables. So this is complete, tested, and working, and we've got a $150 sale price for this, which is a very, very common sale price for a console, 
And I think I've said it in past videos, but my, my maximum purchase price for something like this would be about $50. I wouldn't really wanna to pay too much more than that. Um, but sometimes I've been able to pick them up for around $25, which is even better. Can't remember exactly how much I paid for this one, but it would have fallen around that 25 to 50. Uh, and to sell it for 150, we'll put it into a box. The shipping will actually be about 15 to 20 dollars. This isn't too big of a bulky item, um, so about 15 to 20 in shipment for 150 dollar sale price. I really do like selling these consoles in the video game category. They sell equally as well as the games, and you could supersize this sale even more so by bundling up some of those games that we've got up there. Um, mm. So we could put that with this console. And we could turn this into a $200 to $250 sale price pretty fast. But I have just seen success in selling them off as it is, just console only. And as it is, just game only. They both sell. You can mix and match, whatever you want to do. The next one, pair of shoes. Uh, these are a Nike Dunk Wedge. Um, all white leather. Women's US 8. Um, they sold for a $60, $60 sale price. Um, I don't know. Where do we get them? can't remember. I want to yeah. say the flea market. Yeah. I think I paid 10 to $15 for them at the flea. Yeah. Um, amazing shoe, the Dunks. Um, those, those hidden wedges inside. Mm. Uh, we have sold these a number of times before, and you can actually get more so upwards of about 100 bucks for those. Yeah. Um, but those ones sold for 60 so a little bit under market, true market value for the Dunk Sky High. Mm -hmm. um, and they, based on their size with quite a high ankle, may need to fall into a medium satchel. Yeah. I don't think we can twist that into a small satchel. No. Um, so it's never an issue because you're always getting, you know, normally $60 plus. Mm. Um, but even at $60 going into a medium satchel off a $15 purchase, yeah, some really good profit in those. So definitely a good pair of shoes to look out for. Yeah. Houston Chronicle, that's a cool hat. Yeah. And then uh, we've got this uh, Enterprise Transportation hat as well. So, got them both from that American guy. Yeah, a very, very kind gentleman over in the US that was collecting a lot of hats that wanted to not sell his hats anymore, sold them to us for about $4 I think we paid uh, for, for this collection of hats. We got a really large number. I can't remember exactly how many there were, but... Something like 40 hats or something. I think it was, because yeah. I think I paid $200 Australian. Yeah. Um, which worked out to a... Yeah, that's, that's actually about right. Oh. 40, 40 hats. Um, so two of these hats have gone on to sell for like 20 to $25, I think they worked out to. Nothing too hectic or outlandish, but mm. off a $4 purchase price, it's a bit like the books and the DVDs that we're talking about. It's that bare minimum amount that you want to get. And unfortunately... Most of these hats up here are your bare minimums. Mm. Um, so for that reason, we've decided, I've ummed an art on it because I spoke about it last week in the last week's vlog about what potentially getting out of the hat category. Um, I think we're actually going to do a, a YouTube offer, first of all. If you guys want to run into the House of Mumba, if you see a hat that you want, throw an extra hat in and we'll do buy one, get one free. Mm -hmm. So you can have first pick as a viewer. Viewers get first pick and then from there next Monday... Um, whatever's still left over in the hat department, we will maybe roll out the same sale publicly. Yeah. Actually create the sale on yeah. eBay. Yeah. Um, but for now, it's just buy one, get one for free. Yeah. Um, to try and clean some of these out uh, because I think we are done with the hats. Um, so yeah, if it's a $30 hat and the other hat's $20, it's going to be 30 bucks. So if you're trying to work out how much it's actually going to cost you, whatever the most expensive hat is, is the price. Mm. Uh, and then pick another hat to equal or lesser value and get it for free. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's let's try that, eh? Yeah. That could be a good way to start it off. And there's some awesome hats in here. Yeah, there are. There's actually a couple of really sick hats, so I won't go through them in the video, but jump yeah. into the house of mama and have a look, and if you want any, just let me know. And these are the other few items that sold over the weekend. They're more like, would you say the bread and butter? Yeah. Yeah. Bread and butter items, but yeah, some video games, DVDs, some more shoes. And some random like action figures and yeah, they're all going to go off today as well with the rest of the stuff we just talked about. And we also got this off sale one as well. I didn't. I'm not listing it. It'd be awesome while I've got you on camera for you guys to analyse this for me and let me know off first hand. I know it's really hard when it's just through video. But let me know what you think about the authenticity of this game. It's a US copy. A lot of US viewers on the channel, so maybe be able to shed some light on it. I'm just really reluctant because I'm going with the Sapphire listing 
because the thing that I know about video games to tell from authenticity is there's a little engraved number code there. It actually says 41A. You'd have to probably get it in its right light mm. to see it. But there's a little engraving in there and those, gen well, in my eyes, whenever I see that, I know that it's genuine. Um, so this Sapphire version is also an Australian copy as well. This one being a US copy, no engraving. Mm. I can't find a number or a letter in there. Mm. It's a monster game. Yeah. Uh, Emerald version, Pokemon Game Boy Advance. I'm talking a couple of hundred. Yeah. But I'm just so hesitant to list it up. I said to Selwyn I'd look into it for him. I'd just try and get some advice on it. Yeah. And then when I've got confidence in it being genuine, um, we'll do it on consignment with Selwyn. But um, mm. Sapphire's listed for 155. Mm. Not sure. I'm not sure. So when you're not sure, err on the side of caution. Mm. But yeah, hopefully there's some advice in the comments. So how are you going to tackle it, Courtney? Envelopes first. Yep, which I think we've got quite a few of. Yep. In our little uh, postage tray down here, yep. Then I'll do the satchels. And then you've got to grab some boxes, don't you? I do. I need to... Uh, we don't have a lot of boxes. We've got... Bigger boxes, which will suit the people. Oh, <laughs> Could be the end of me. Um, these boxes might do pretty well for our PS2. Yeah. But we don't have any small boxes because we're going to put the hats in a small box. Yeah. Um, we're going to put these sorts of ones as well into a box. So I'm going to have to go out and grab some. And while I go out and grab some, Courtney, I might do some thrifting as well. Mm -hmm. I'll let you just make a start on the envelopes and the satchels. Yeah. And also just feel free to start listing up some of this if I'm not back in time. Yeah. Um, do you think you need more bubble wrap? Yeah, we just chew through so much bubble wrap. Yeah. A lot of guys in the comments say, why don't you stock up? The reason why is because we don't have a lot of room to put it. Yeah. I know there's a, we've done it before, a really big roll at Officeworks. Hmm. So it's a bit wider and it's longer. I think it's about $20. I reckon I should go and grab that instead. Because we do this for about $11 from Bunnings. Yeah. Um, but it just goes so fast. Mm -hmm. We do have a small storage little cupboard in here. Oh, maybe. We don't need to open that. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a mix of stuff in there. Oh, my God. It's a bomb site. Uh, yeah, so we just, we just close that door and pretend like it's not there, don't we? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I might might go to Office. Officeworks is just so much further than Bunnings. I know. Well, Bunnings we're going to go near there this afternoon for the mechanics, so maybe you want to buy it for next week or something. Will we have enough, though, for the post today? I feel like just enough. Just enough, yeah. But we'll see. We will see. Keep me posted. I'll go do some thrifting. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Yeah. Now, Monday is also family dinner night. We rotate between my sister's place, my place, and mum and dad's. And this Monday has fallen onto me to prepare something. And I'm not the best cook. So I actually get a little bit nervous each time it's my week. This is my core family. This is my core family, right? It's my sister. My mum's going to be over tonight. And, um, I always make just the same basic stuff. Like I'm very good at making a spaghetti because that's as far as my ability stretches when it comes to cooking. Um, I do the steak and sweet potato and veg and I'll do a stir fry, but my level of cooking ability is, well, not that great. Um, I actually, I've never actually said this on the channel before, but I was born without a sense of smell. <laughs> I can't believe I've told that to a few thousand people. Um, but yeah, born without a sense of smell. So I get really nervous around cooking because I feel like my taste is limited as well. Um, born without it, right? So I've never actually experienced it to any degree in the past. Um, so I, I do feel like it limits my ability to cook well. It, it just would, right? I always feel a little bit confused in the kitchen. But uh, it's anyway, it's my night tonight. I'm probably gonna have to go to the shops and grab myself some ingredients for a spaghetti, I think. Um, but it is actually the highlight of the week. I love being able to catch up with my mum and catch up with my sister. Um, quality time like that, having that locked in once a week is vital. Uh, so I've just got to pull my finger out and come up with something good. But if you do have any suggestions that you think could be a really nice mix up, um, something different for me to be able to give to, to my family on a Monday night, 
drop it in the comments. Just let me know what I should maybe search up, what sort of recipe that'd be basic, quick and easy to do. Um, doesn't need to be anything too fancy, but I just feel like I should mix it up and give them something different. So let me know in the comments. Goosebumps Horrorland. How much? That is Seventy. One to twenty-one, which is that in slip. So one set, you can get about seventy odd. Fifty-five there. So I reckon we could definitely go sixty on it. And then how about this one? 20 Goosebumps Horrorland books. Books number 1 to 20. Type it in. Goosebumps Horrorland 1 to 20. There we go. Another 70. Two 70s. That's great. All right, you take one, I take one. Fifteen dollars, and they're a size twelve. KDs in the thrift. They are nice. Air Force Ones. Genuine. Women's size nine. Twelve bucks. That's exactly that. One hundred and eighteen. Oh, those. One hundred and fifteen. That's because it's got the purple and then the fluff. Yeah. Yeah, it is a, it is a small size though, which doesn't, I mean, that's not great. However, that colorway, I reckon that's awesome. Yeah. For 15, the condition of it is excellent too. A few other finds as well, the day after, which is actually now the present day, um, we've got The Mentalist here, which was season one to seven. Now, they were $3 each, so it's gonna be about $21 on these, but it actually converts into about 60 to 70 bucks. So 20 into 70, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run the play. Uh, Brothers and Sisters, I've got five seasons here, but it is a complete series. You can see there the complete fifth and final. Uh, you get about, I think, I think, I'm pretty sure it's about 40 bucks for that. Um, we only paid two dollars each in store. I also grabbed these shoes as well. These are the waffles, um, and I have bought them and sold them a few times before. So pretty confident on a ten dollar purchase price there. Obviously, the condition, as you can see, are in excellent condition. Um, I grabbed these as well. An awesome pair of football boots. I actually can think I can get about sixty five to seventy dollars for these, given the condition as well is very good. Um, they are twenty dollars in store, but given the the size as well, that's not too bad. Courtney finished the post, and uh, that was pretty much it for our Monday. We just spied Courtney's car, and she just called it a little money pit. A little money pit. <laughs> it's fine. I don't think I'm going to get an answer out of you from how much the bill was, but can you text me what it was when you get it? Mm-hmm. And I'll tell, I'll tell these guys what you got stung. And there's further, further things that I was stung for, so... Yeah, you've said no to a few things, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really excited because now I have air in my tyres because I haven't done that for a while. Wow, air in your tyres is very important. Yeah.